I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 13.1 Questioner, first of all I would like to apologize for asking so many stupid questions while searching for what we should do. I consider what we are doing to be a great honor and privilege to also be humble messengers of the law of one. I now believe that. The way to prepare this book is to start at the beginning of creation and follow through the evolution of man on earth, investigating at all times how the law of one was used. I would also like to make as the title of the book, The Law of One, and I would like to state as the author, Ra. Would you agree to this? Answer, I am Ra. Your query is unclear. Would you please state the separate queries each area of agreement? Question 13.2 Questioner, first, I would like to start at the beginning of creation, as far back as we can go and follow the development of man to the present time. Is this agreeable? Answer, I am Ra. This is completely your discernment understanding decision. Question 13.3 Questioner, secondly, I would like to title the book, The Law of One, by Ra. Is this agreeable? Answer, I am Ra. The title of the book is acceptable. The authorship by vibratory sound complex Ra is, in our distortion of understanding, incomplete. We are messengers. Question 13.4 Questioner, can you state who then should author the book? Answer, I am Ra. I can only request that if your discernment understanding suggests the use of this vibratory sound complex, Ra, the phrase, and humble messenger of the law of one, be appended. Question 13.5. Questioner, thank you. Can you tell me of the first known thing in the creation? Answer, I am Ra. The first known thing in the creation is infinity. The infinity is creation. Question 13.6. Questioner, from this infinity then must come what we experience as creation. What was the next step or the next evolvement? Answer, I am Ra. Infinity became aware. This was the next step. Question 13.7. Questioner, after this, what came next? Answer, I am Ra. Awareness led to the focus of infinity into infinite energy. You have called this by various vibrational sound complexes, the most common to your ears being, Logos, or, Love. The Creator is the focusing of infinity as an aware or conscious principle called by us as closely as we can create understanding learning in your language intelligent infinity. Question 13.8. Questioner, can you state the next step? Answer, I am Ra. The next step is still at this space-time nexus in your illusion achieving its progression as you may see it in your illusion. The next step is an infinite reaction to the creative principle following the law of one in one of its primal distortions, freedom of will. Thus, Many, many dimensions, infinite in number, are possible. The energy moves from the intelligent infinity due first to the outpouring of randomized creative force, this then creating patterns which in holographic style appear as the entire creation no matter which direction or energy is explored. These patterns of energy begin then to regularize their own local, shall we say, rhythms and fields of energy, thus creating dimensions and universes. Question 13.9. Questioner, then can you tell me how the galaxy and planetary systems were formed? Answer, I am Ra. You must imagine a great leap of thought in this query, for at the last query the physical, as you call it, universes were not yet born. The energies moved in increasingly intelligent patterns until the individualization of various energies emanating from the creative principle of intelligent infinity became such as to be co-creators. Thus the so-called physical matter began. The concept of light is instrumental in grasping this great leap of thought as this vibrational distortion of infinity is the building block of that which is known as matter, the light being intelligent and full of energy, thus being the first distortion of intelligent infinity which was called by the creative principle. This light of love was made to have in its occurrences of being certain characteristics, among them the infinite whole paradoxically described by the straight line, as you would call it. This paradox is responsible for the shape of the various physical illusion entities you call solar. Systems, galaxies, and planets of revolving and tending towards the lenticular. 
Question 13.10. Questioner, I think I made an error in getting ahead of the process you were describing. Would it be helpful to fill in that great leap due to the mistake I made? Answer, I am Ra. I attempted to bridge the gap. However, you may question me in any manner you deem appropriate. Question 13.11. Questioner, taking the question just before the one I asked about the galaxies and planets and tell me what the next step was from there. Answer, I am Ra. The steps, as you call them, are, at the point of question, simultaneous and infinite. Question 13.12. Questioner, can you tell me how intelligent infinity became, shall we say, I'm having difficulty with the language, how intelligent infinity became individualized from itself? Answer, I am Ra. This is an appropriate question. The intelligent infinity discerned the concept. This concept was discerned to be freedom of will of awareness. This concept was finity. This was the first and primal paradox or distortion of the law of one. Thus the one intelligent infinity invested itself in an exploration of manyness. Due to the infinite possibilities of intelligent infinity there is no ending to manyness. The exploration, thus, is free to continue infinitely in an eternal present. Question 13.3 Questioner, was the galaxy that we are in created by the infinite intelligence or was it created by a portion of the infinite intelligence? Answer, I am Ra. The galaxy and all other things of material of which you are aware are products of individualized portions of intelligent infinity. As each exploration began it, in turn, found its focus and became co-creator. Using intelligent infinity each portion created an universe and allowing the rhythms of free choice to flow. Playing with the infinite spectrum of possibilities, each individualized portion channeled the love light into what you might call intelligent energy, thus creating the so-called natural laws of any particular universe. Each universe, in turn, individualized to a focus becoming, in turn, co-creator and allowing further diversity, thus creating further intelligent energies regularizing or causing natural laws to appear in the vibrational patterns of what you would call a solar system. Thus, each solar system has its own, shall we say, local coordinate system of illusory natural laws. It shall be understood that any portion, no matter how small, of any density or illusory pattern contains, as in an holographic picture, the one creator which is infinity. Thus all begins and ends in mystery.